Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, live on the Long Island Sports Network. It's the second play-in game for the ECHC Purple Division as the number three seed, Fairfield University, takes on the number six, Delaware University. Or University of Delaware, I should say. Second play-in game for the Purple Division earlier on, we saw the Fordham Rams punch their ticket. They took down Ramapo Roadrunners by a score of six to nothing and opening faceoff is dropped. We are underway as backhand by Dewey gets sent into the netting and we get a quick whistle. Final two games of the night here from Shelton. We got this one between Delaware and Fairfield happening on the lower rink upstairs. They're getting ready for Hofstra and Sacred Heart, the final quarterfinal of the Black Division. Faceoffs won by Fairfield, chipped in, now chasing after, taking a shot on goal, going wide. That was off the stick of Malazlepsi. Puck goes forward now, Delaware moving it. It's Gavin Johns trying to chip that one in deep. 
Cutting to the backhand, but poked off his stick. And now Delaware, Kyle Kosh trying to get it out. Fairfield able to keep that alive. Trying to get a shot on, but a good stick lift in front by Johns. Now Puck's on the half wall. Delaware looking to break things out. Potential odd man rush coming here, but a good stick from the Fairfield defender. Looks like that was Mangia Capri. Shedlock trying to reverse. Puck comes out in front and across the crease. Ends up in the corner, but a dangerous chance there. Coming across the crease of Nathan DeRoach. Nathan DeRoach, the starting goalie for Delaware. Eric Dillner in net for Fairfield. And a turnover. Delaware with an opportunity. Shot gets blocked in front of the net. Big block there by Chase McKenna. Sent back into the zone and now going for a change. Tyler Shedlock. Fairfield looking to break it out. A high chip out. Works. Puck's in the neutral zone. Someone's still looking to find it. Chipped back in the zone by Griffin O'Shaughnessy. But Fairfield quickly coming back the other way. Free puck in the neutral zone. Now Delaware moving. O'Shaughnessy with it. Takes it to his backhand. Pass to the middle. Doesn't find any tape. And now it's Fairfield coming up the ice on a three-on-two rush. Brazel goes back door. Another pass goes back door. Couldn't find a home. Looked like it came off a skate. Delaware break it out. And a backhand that gets dumped in by Michael DePrisco. Fairfield resetting here. Brazel had the puck. He dished it up the ice for Blake. Blake chips it into the zone. Fairfield in on the four check. Delaware looking to break out. Stick lift there from McDonald. And both teams going back and forth here as they're trying to settle things down and maintain some possession for a period of time here. A little slap shot goes off a stick and up into the netting from William Kidd. And we get a whistle. A face-off will be to the left here of Nathan DeRoach. Puck's free. Backhanded through the middle. Doesn't find a home. That was from Christopher Cummings. Delaware with a clean breakout, but came off the stick of Solomon. So Fairfield with a chance to reset here. Intercepted. Now carried over the blue line. A shot comes through from Andrew Gatti. And Fairfield trying to break that puck out. Came off the stick of Wade Davis and ended up underneath the glove of Eric Dillner. Going to the left of Dillner. A little over three minutes gone by. One back by Cummings. Fairfield get it out of the zone. And it's Luca Mandato chasing after it. Mandato in the corner with Cummings battling for it. Cummings comes out with it. Back door for Mandato. Doesn't find his tape. Kept in at the blue line. Kicks out to the front now. Cummings with a chance. Puts it back out in front one more time. Curry wasn't there to get it. Now at the point. Shot from the point is high. Sent right back at the net by Cullen. Goes across the crease. Didn't find the back of the cage. Kept in again by Fairfield at the blue line. Zach Lee. Trying to make the one-on-one -on -one move there was Cullen. Couldn't go. Rich with it now for Delaware. Kept in the zone one more time. Slap shot goes into the glove of DeRoach. Another face-off. That one's taken away by Delaware. Kyle Kosh uses the glass and chips it out of the zone. Lee goes D to D, and then Fairfield sends it down. No icing as it took a hop over Shedlock's stick. Shedlock goes off the boards for Kosh. 
That one gets blocked. The backhand at the net one more time. Rebound came out. Cullen up to the point. That one got blocked in front by Viola. Another chance here for Fairfield. Nothing doing there. And Delaware is able to get the red line and chip this one in deep. Kept in the zone. Chance here for the Blue Hens. Doesn't go. Fairfield moving up the ice. Brendan Burke cuts to the middle. Tries to pass it back door. Couldn't find the tape of Marchi. Marchi rolls off the half wall now. Sends a pass back to where he just came from. That one got intercepted. Viola carries. Gets the red line. Tries to dump it in. Goes off a glove of the Fairfield bench. Little over five minutes played. Five shots for Fairfield, one for Delaware. Fairfield wins the faceoff. And now two on one developing for Delaware. Shot goes through, but deflected off of the stick of Chase McKenna and goes up into the netting. Good two-on-one opportunity off the stick of Griffin O'Shaughnessy. Just trying to get a puck to the net early on here. DePrisco steps in for Delaware, taking on Marchi. And DePrisco wins it. But Marchi comes through for Fairfield and gets that puck out. Excuse me, that was Sharfstein who got that puck out. Fairfield defenseman playing a little catch and the stretch pass doesn't find any tape. Goes behind the goal line for an icing. So we'll do the face off from the same spot. Same centerman in there. One back by Marchi. Clearing attempt is successful. Chip off the glass works, and it's a two-on-one for Fairfield. And a diving play by Sophia. Knocks the puck off the stick of Connor Momro. And that was a huge play there from the Delaware defenseman. Disrupting that two-on-one. Puck eventually ended up out of play in the netting, but big play there from Michael Sophia of Delaware. Puck is almost chipped out off the faceoff. Good keep in there by William Leary. And that one eventually does find its way out of the zone. Touching that one up off sides was Aiden Blake. So we get a whistle. Faceoff now in front of the Blue Hens bench. Delaware in the blue jerseys with the gold trim. Wearing white with the red trim is Fairfield. D to D and now into the zone. Stopped up by Sophia. He flips it out. Right back onto the stick of Leary. Carries it onto his backhand. Tried to chip it in. Intercepted by DePrisco. Now a battle in front of the Fairfield bench. Stopped by Sophia. Now Delaware goes up three on two. Sophia gets the pass on his backhand. Takes a shot and he scores! Michael Sophia. Six minutes, 34 seconds into the first period. And he gives the Blue Hens the 1-0 lead. Beautiful three-on-two rush by the Blue Hens. Pretty much how you draw it up. Sophia carried that one in wide on his backhand and the defenseman put a shot low at the net. He beat Dillner five hole. And the Blue Hens go up 1-0 early on in this contest. Sophia's goal assisted by Griffin O'Shaughnessy and Michael DePrisco as Fairfield win the faceoff following that goal. Delaware forces a turnover. Chance now carrying it up. Taking that shot was Gotti. Now at the point, cutting to the middle, poked off his stick, and Mandato almost had a breakaway for Fairfield. Battle in the neutral zone. Shedlock with it now. Dishes it over for Laughlin, and Laughlin. Tried to chip it deep, but took a hit. Now moving up one-on-one, -on -one, taking a shot on goal was Christopher Cummings. That one into the glove of DeRoach.
Game five of six here tonight at the rinks at Shelton. This one and another one simultaneously going on upstairs. Fairfield win the faceoff back over to the point now. Shot on goal, almost deflected in front. Good low shot from the point there by Lee. Fairfield still with possession. Now Delaware and Andrew Gaddy able to clear that puck out. Goes all the way down for an icing. Another face-off to DeRoach's left. One back by Fairfield, rolling out, taking the shot, kicked away by DeRoach. Good shot on goal from Cullen there. Cullen has it one more time. Stolen, shot on goal, big save by DeRoach off of the takeaway from Malalepsi. The Fairfield captain. Another face-off win, but that was a little too clean. Goes all the way out of the zone. Fairfield trying to break this out now. As the stretch pass was deflected up into their own bench. It'll be a face-off staying in the Stags defensive end. Marchi at the dot for Fairfield. Alex Bouchard for Delaware. Faceoff goes to the half wall. Fairfield trying to chip this puck out. Gloved down by Johns. Kept in the zone. And Bouchard's pass couldn't find tape, but he's able to keep it in at the blue line. Fairfield eventually get this puck out. Now at the Delaware blue line. D2D -D pass over for Johns. Johns uses the board, chips it forward. And now moving up, Luke Rich. Rich is going to chip this in. Go chase his F1. Backhanded up the boards by McIntyre. Kept in the zone by Delaware blue liner Gavin Johns. Johns with it now. He goes D to D. Shot from the point gets blocked. Big block there by Sharfstein. Sharfstein trying to get this puck out. He does successfully. Two on one rush for, farm, uh, for Fairfield. Pass across, doesn't go, ends up in the crease and underneath DeRoach. We get a little extra conversation behind the net. Eleven oh eight left to play here in the first period. Delaware on top by a score of 1-0. About two and a half minutes, uh, about two, and, two minutes and change, two minutes, 20 seconds ago on game clock. It was Michael Sophia who opened up the scoring here in this one. We're going to the right of DeRoach here. Face off is one back by Fairfield, but stepping up Sophia, the goal scorer, helping get that puck out. Leary sends it forward. Now Blake carries up the left wing side. Blake chips it in, avoids some contact. Viola picks it up for Delaware. Battle behind the net here, and Blake gets it back. Blake rolls out, takes a shot. That one into the chest of DeRoach, and covered up. The Stags make a Line change with their forwards. Same five out there for Delaware. Jack Polito in the face-off circle. Face-off goes over to Tyler Shedlock, who skates it around his net and carries up the ice. He's got some space to work with now. Moves back to the left wing side before he makes a backhand pass up to Kosh, who got his stick lift lifted. Fairfield coming up now. A backhand pass high through the air. 
Ended up finding some tape. No offsides either. Pass to the point. Shot on goal. That one goes over the net off the stick of Leary and comes out of the zone. Almost touched up there. Wasn't, so play continues. Leary tries to chip it off the boards, but keeping that one in was Kyle Kosh. Playing that one with his stick. The Fairfield goalie, Eric Dillner. As an opportunity for Delaware just went awry. Fairfield with another chance here to break things out. Pass through the middle. Now cutting into the zone, losing possession was Cullen. Delaware coming back the other way, three on two. Shot on goal, that goes just wide. Kept in the zone by O'Shaughnessy. His pass doesn't find any tape, so it's Mangia, uh, Mangia Carp Capri who carried in, who's his backhand was intercepted in the middle of the ice. Delaware's clearing attempt goes into their own bench. So it'll be a face-off that stays inside the Blue Hen zone. Winning that face-off back was DePrisco. Sophia goes D to D for Johns, and Johns uses the boards to chip it out of the zone. Luca Mandato backhands it in. Sophia's back to get it behind his own goal line, sends it up the same side boards. Ends up vacating the zone, so Mandato goes D to D with Mangia Capri. Mandato picks it back up now, two on one opportunity. He picks it up, and a backhand from him rolls up the stick of DeRoach, who was diving out for the poke check. Goes up in the netting. Score remains 1 0 in favor of Delaware. But a great opportunity there for the Stags to get on the board as Luca Mandato with a big chance crashing the net. Fairfield win another faceoff, but Griffin O'Shaughnessy, who is driving through hard, forces the puck out of the zone. DDD pass from Lee almost didn't get through. It did successfully, though. And then the stretch pass couldn't find the tape of Momro, but he beats out the icing. Cycled in low by Marchi, couldn't find Momro, so Shedlock has it for Delaware. Sends it back to the opposite side, and Delaware rushing up. Pass from Abramovich, didn't find tape. Both teams looking to settle back down and get some of that possession back. Stretch pass is almost intercepted, but a chance brewing here for Abramovich, who catches up to it. Backhand to the front. Gets intercepted by Marchi, who flips it out of the zone. Crowell sends it up the boards, finds Abramovich. Abramovich takes a shot. That goes wide. It's going to come out of the zone, now carrying up the ice, Sharfstein. Sharfstein cuts to the middle, makes a move to his backhand. Backhand shot off the pad of DeRoach, picking it back up in the corner was Blake. Blake with a little give and go, but the go didn't find him. So Delaware has an opportunity to break out, but that puck took a hop. Now walking in, pass over, backhand. That one hits the chest of DeRoach, and he covers it up. Good shift there from Brazel, Blake, and Momro. Getting an opportunity, a couple shots on net. As Momro heads off and Aiden McConnell comes on for him. McDonald, I should say, Aiden McDonald. Shot comes through, that comes off the stick of Blake. Delaware with a chance to clear now. They do, three on two potentially. That one gets wrapped around the boards. Gaddy wraps it around, and Gavin Johns now here. Cycles it in low. Jeffrey Matthews has it, moves it forward for Brazel, and Brazel enters the Delaware zone now wide. Takes it behind the net, pass over, and that one's saved. Good one-timer opportunity from Blake. Gaddy goes up the boards. Kept in the zone, walking in McKenna. McKenna's shot gets blocked, it's up in the air, goes up behind the net. Trying to cycle it up to the point, that was McDonald. 
Smith back in the corner. McDonald gets it in his feet, backhands one into the opposite corner. Solomon sent it backwards. Solomon gets it right back. He takes a hit from Brazel. Solomon sends it over for Gaddy. Little one-handed move behind the net. Now wraparound attempt saved by DeRoach and the net comes off. Get a whistle and another face-off in the Delaware end. Good wraparound try there from Aiden Brazel. Score remains 1-0 for the Blue Hens. 6.21 to go here in period number one. Face-off one again by Fairfield. Bouncing puck. Ended up squeaking through to Roach and behind the net. It's a good shot on net there. Fairfield putting a lot of pressure on the, in the offensive zone so far in this game. Walking in now is Burke. He moved it over. Shot came through from Cullen and was steered aside. Cullen's going to get there first, chasing down that rebound. Solomon has it on the half wall, unable to chip it out. Johns gets there. He can't get it out, and eventually... It crosses that blue line and carried back in by the Stags. That was Brendan Burke for the offside whistle. Face off here in front of the stands. Fairfield win it again. That one gets sent in deep by Kidd. Reverse play from Sophia over to Laughlin. Laughlin stretches the ice. Finding the tape of Shedlock. Uh, no, excuse me. Finding the tape of Polito, who de sends it in deep. Fairfield breaking out now. Burke chips it off the boards to Cullen. Cullen carries in wide. Cullen on the backhand. Blockered away by DeRoach up at the point. Sending it back in down low. McIntyre. Cummings takes some contact. Battle on the boards. Both sides trying to poke it free. Rich in there for Delaware with Burchard. Bichard, excuse me. Puck finally comes out and pass up to the point from Cullen. Ends up out of the zone. Dumped in there by Thornton, or by Kidd, excuse me. Delaware regain possession. Bichard sends a pass across the ice. Sophia steps up, trying to get it down a little bit more away from his bench and from the red line. Dumping it in deep was Jack Polito. Stretch pass is deflected deep into the zone by Mandato. Delaware has possession once more. Crowell behind the net tries to send a stretch pass to the far side of the ice for Bichard. Couldn't find his stick and now Fairfield rushing up one more time. Cummings tried chipping it in. He intercepts the clearing attempt. Puts one back to the middle. Swooping in to pick it up. Now on the backhand. Cutting around the net, Ronan Curry. Curry rolls back up top. He's at the point. Dishes it over. Shot on goal. That one got blocked by Shedlock. Off the stick of Zach Lee. Shedlock kicks it wide for Kosh. Kosh chips it in deep. He's going to go chase. Kosh gets there first. Battling now with Mangia Carpe. Shot from the point. That one in some feet and coming up to cover that one was Dillner. Just one goal scored here. Came six minutes and 34 seconds into the period. Michael Sophia on the three on two rush, a little backhand shot that beat Dillner five hole. Face off gets one back by Marchi. Trying to get it out of the zone. That one's kept alive by Brooks. Down into the corner and a shooting opportunity for Delaware. Goes wide. Dumped right back in by Kosh. Mangia Capri behind the net. Gets it back. The assistant captain for the Stags. Comes back to the near side of the ice to find Mamro, who takes a hit at the blue line. Mamro still carrying forward. O'Shaughnessy steals it, though, and dumps it in. Dillner plays it out. 3.08 remaining. Puck's intercepted by O'Shaughnessy. His shot gets blocked. Toes takes another shot, and that one is saved. Looked like it hit Dillner right in the chest there. So it's going to be another faceoff in the zone of the Stags. Good opportunity off that turnover for Griffin O'Shaughnessy and the Blue Hens.
score remains 1-0 for Delaware. Chance for O'Shaughnessy there to make it two. Blake wins the faceoff. McDonald gets it out, moves it forward to Blake. Two on two rush, Blake carries in wide. Spins off to avoid a hit. Still battling for it. Still battling for it as Blake tried to backhand it in deep, couldn't go, so Gavin Johns has it. Gavin Johns taking some pressure now from McDonald. Backhands it off the boards, high chip there from Abramovich, still not out of the zone, and finally goes out from the stick of DePrisco. Back behind the net of DeRoach. Michael Sophia sends a pass off the glass. Was intercepted. Walking in, pulling and shooting there was McKenna. His shot got blocked, ended up behind. Kept in the zone again, though. Another chance for Fairfield here. Walking in, taking the shot on goal. Stick save, rebound. Shot gets blocked. Now in the opposite corner. Throws one at the net, and that one doesn't get through, but kept in one more time. Back on the stick of McKenna. His shot gets blocked by Davis. Davis's backhand out is stopped by McKenna. D to D. Matthews with it. Matthews goes low. And forcing it out of the zone, O'Shaughnessy, after some extended pressure there from the Stags. Chipped in by Fairfield. Delaware resetting here. Puck comes out of the zone. Now it's back on the stick of William Leary. Leary trying to stretch the ice a little bit. Intercepted by Davis. Davis still in a battle. And now it's on the tape of Burke who enters the zone. Loses it off of a back check. And now carrying in one more time. Drop pass. Shot on goal. Goes wide behind the net. Leary steps in. Leary takes a shot off the right leg. A backhand from behind the net from Cullen. Ended up hitting DeRoach, and DeRoach elects to cover it up for another whistle. One minute, two second, two seconds left in the first period. Puck comes through, shot off the faceoff from Mandato, got blocked, it's in the corner now. Bichard moves it up, kept in the zone there by Leary. Leary walks to the middle, takes a shot, ends up just being a dump in to the opposite corner. Pass out front, gets intercepted by Rich. Rich finds a way to pick that puck back up. Chips one off the glass and that vacates the zone. Nice play by Kidd, stepping up. Now he enters the Delaware zone. Kicks a backhand pass off for Cummings. Cummings one hands it behind the net. Mandato's there, he takes a big hit from Bichard. Bichard with a little saucer pass up, finds Polito. Polito tries to chip it in and successfully getting it into the corner is Bichard. Sophia there to keep it in on the near side boards at the blue line. Puck still in behind the net now. Bouchard out front. Couldn't find the stick of Rich. Sophia pinched. Stays alive. Slap shot on the knuckle puck. And that's going to do it as the horn goes. A little bit going on there after the whistle, but at the end of one, it's Delaware on top by a score of one to nothing. Michael Sophia scored the goal on a three on two rush. Griffin O'Shaughnessy and Michael DePrisco. Picking up the assist on that one. Solid play in the cages in that period from Eric Dillner and Nathan DeRoach. But through 20 minutes, it's Delaware 1, Fairfield nothing. We're live on the Long Island Sports Network. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for period number two.
Back for period number two, and it's the Stags who win the faceoff. Puck gets chipped in, but goes off of the rafters. Was Chase McKenna or, nope, Zach Lee who sent that one in. Came up high. Face off at center ice once again, goes back to Lee. Lee goes for the low chip this time, but comes right back his way. Going to pick that one up, Mangia Capri. Delaware intercepts, that was John Dewey. Mangia Capri with it one more time, sends it up the near side boards. Stopped up there by Gavin Johns into the Fairfield zone now. Mangia Capri is going to circle and fire it to the far side. Takes a hop off the boards and looks like it's going right on net. No icing and then played out. Looking to avoid the whistle there was DeRoach. No icing there. So Dillner comes out to play it. Wraps it around the boards for Lee. Mangia Capri stretches the ice and he finds the tape of Burke. Burke kicks it over for Cullen. Cullen walks in wide, tries to take a shot on goal that got blocked. Now a battle behind the net as the puck pops free. O'Shaughnessy now on the half wall. He's able to get that puck out, but that's intercepted at center ice by Matthews. A stretch pass looking for Abramovich. Couldn't find his tape. And that's an icing going against the Blue Hens. Played about a minute and 18 seconds. To the right of DeRoach. Buck goes to the half wall. And now Delaware with a chance to clear it out. Chipping it in, going to chase to Prisco. DePrisco in, forechecking hard on McKenna. O'Shaughnessy with it, cycles it down low for DePrisco. Backhand pass won't go. That's swapped away, swiped away by Marchi. Back with DePrisco behind the net as he intercepts it. Pass across from Momro, and he carries it out of the zone. Enters the Blue Hens' end. His shot gets blocked. Clearing attempt for Delaware won't go, so a battle in the corner for it. Going D to D. Walking in, getting his shot blocked was McKenna. Cycled in low, now back up to the point. Scharfstein's shot goes off the blocker of DeRoach. Puck at the blue line now. Blue Hens trying to get it out. Stag's trying to keep it in. Still on the wall. Now kicks out to the middle. Over for McKenna. His pa pass was just out of his reach. He takes it in behind the net now. Marchi rolls up with it, and that puck gets sent down the length of the ice. We get a whistle as there's a blue hen down on the ice. Got a minute here while we have a down player. Never want to see that. Round of applause for Trent Laughlin. Glad to see he's up on his own power. And able to head off the ice. It's going to be a face-off to the right of Nathan DeRoach. It's one nothing in this one. Delaware is on top. Michael Sophia with the only goal in this game came at... 6.34 in the first period. As Fairfield win the faceoff. Puck goes down low, now out to the top at the circle, unable to get the shot off. Good defense played there by Crowell. But goes all the way down the sheet for another icing and another faceoff in the Delaware end.
Faceoff goes back. Fanning on the shot, but keeping it in the zone was Brazel. Puck's loose in front now, trying to find it. Delaware comes out, but picking that pass off and moving in was William Kidd. Kidd drops it off, shot, kicked away. Save, rebound. Puck's still loose, and we get the whistle. It's underneath the Roach. Big opportunity there for Fairfield. Fairfield, the three seed, went seven and three in conference play, 14 points for them. Delaware went one seven and had two overtime losses. Just four points for them, but they're on top in this one. Got one goal, had a couple shots on net. Fairfield with another opportunity here. Blake rolls to the middle. He takes a shot. That goes off a body in front. Spinning shot there from Brazel doesn't go. And pinching in to take the shot was Leary before DeRoach covers it up. And we're getting a penalty at the end of the play there. You see the ref pointing. And going to the box here, Luke Rich. for the Delaware Blue Hens. So Delaware going down here. It's gonna be the first power play of the game for the Fairfield University Stags. Burke, Malalepsi, Mangia Capri, Lee, and Cullen on the ice to start the power play. Trying to go forward with it. Now it's in some feet in the slot. Delaware looking to clear. They do so successfully. That was Kyle Kosh. So after skating back 200 feet, Zach Lee picks up the puck. Fairfield looking to break this thing out. A lot of pressure being applied by Dewey. And that's going to slow Fairfield down, force them to regroup things. Break out one more time. Dropped back for Lee. Lee sends a backhand pass over for Mangia Capri. And he enters the zone. Drops it off. One timer goes through off the stick of Malalepsi, but ended up wide. Now at the point with Cullen. Cullen walks to the middle. Drags on the backhand, back to the forehand. That shot went off the blocker of DeRoach. Malalepsi rolls to the middle. Back for Cullen. Cullen moves to the left side. Rolls low. Takes it in behind the net. And he's just going for a skate right now, Cullen. He's back up top of the zone. Pass to the middle. Shot comes through, and that one's gloved by DeRoach. Low shot on net there from Brendan Burke. Couldn't beat DeRoach. Remains 1-0 in favor of the Blue Hens. Just 55 seconds left on Luke Rich's penalty. It was a roughing call that went his way. DeRoach standing tall tonight for the University of Delaware. Had 11 starts in the regular season. Puck's now up at the point with William Kidd. He gets it right back and moves to the middle of the ice. Sends it to the flank. From the left flank to the right, now rolling up top, McKenna. McKenna slides it down for Marchi. Marchi sends it over for Kidd. Now it's in the corner, behind the net with Blake. Blake for Marchi, up top for McKenna. McKenna's one-timer goes wide. Kicks off the boards, up in the air, gloved down by Brooks. Still a fight for it behind the net. Marchi rolls up top, swings it over for Kidd. Kid down the half wall, couldn't find the tape of Momroy, and it comes out of the zone. Ten seconds to go on the power play. Marchi tried to carry it forward, but he got it poked off his stick. Dishes it now for Blake. Blake over to Momroy. Momroy sends it over to the point. Walking in McKenna. McKenna shoots, and a save with the pad by Nathan DeRoach.
Solid game so far from Nate DeRoach. Face off to DeRoach's right. Left, excuse me. And it's eventually won back by the Blue Hens. Zachary Solomon. Solomon gets a pass in the middle now, just bounces off of his stick and then fired in deep by Gaddy. Chipped off the boards and now carrying it up on a two-on-two -two rush, trying to fire it to the opposite corner unsuccessfully was Curry. Mandato has it now, backhand pass doesn't go through. Curry cycles it low. That one's kept in the zone by McIntyre and eventually comes out. Bouncing puck now, it's a race for it. One handing it into the zone, Davis. Davis picks up the puck in the corner, he's fighting for it with Matthews and it eventually comes to the opposite corner near side here on the camera. Stretch pass looking for the tape of Curry. Pass was just behind him, went all the way down for an icing. 13.47 left in the second period. It's still Delaware on top. The lone goal came back in the first period. Michael Sophia had it if you're joining us late. Travis Quigley on the call here with the Long Island Sports Network. One back, O'Shaughnessy goes up to the point. Shot comes through and that one is smothered by Eric Dillner. Playing game number two here in the purple division. Earlier on we saw a 6-0 shutout from the Fordham Rams over Ramapo. Some potential implications with this one as Delaware wins the faceoff. Shot goes through and the rebound ends up in the corner. O'Shaughnessy's there to grab it. Poked off his stick by Blake. And then eventually chipped out of the zone by McDonald. One-on-one -on -one move is unsuccessful, but Lee's there to pick it right back up. Moving down the right wing boards wide. On the left side of the sheet now. Rolls back up top. Across for Blake. Blake sends one at the net. That gets blocked by Abramovich. Lee back for Blake. Blake rolls and gives it over to Mangia Carp, uh, Capri. And deflecting that one into the zone and chasing McDonald. McDonald's going to touch the puck first. He's got two blue hens on him. Puck is in the feet. Eventually comes out. McDonald's still working for it. Backhanded into the zone by Blake. In behind the net. And now Delaware has possession. Looking to clear. Pressure being applied by McDonald. Still really good forecheck by him on this shift. Puck eventually comes out of the zone. Gloved down by Lee. Sent to the far side of the ice. Mangia Capri picks it up. Backhands one to the middle. Intercepted. And now it comes out of the zone. It's a three-on-one for the Blue Hens. O'Shaughnessy with the puck. He's wide. Low shot. Rebound. And that one is deflected into the net. And good play there by Zach Lee as it was a great opportunity for the Blue Hens to double their lead. And that's a really good shot there by Griffin O'Shaughnessy on the three-on-one. Shooting for the rebound. The pop play. The pass-off pad. Backdoor opportunity there, but uh, good stop by Dillner and a good stick from Zach Lee. Face off to Dillner's right. Puck is now back. Face off is won eventually by Fairfield. William Kidd's clearing attempt didn't go, so Leary picks it up. Leary finds Mc, uh, Burke, and now it's a two on one rush for Fairfield. Backhanded across and couldn't get the backhand to connect. That was Malalepsi. Delaware gets it out. Dewey uses his body to protect the puck, and it ends up going all the way down. Toe drag in front of the net by Malalepsi. Sauce is one forward, and Cullen has it entering the zone. Cullen dishes it over for, kid, uh, for Kid. Kid's backhand goes around the boards. Delaware chip out. Potential two-on-one is stopped up by Brendan Burke, who put it back into his own bench. So we'll get a face-off in the neutral zone in front of the Stags bench. 11.39 left in period number two. Delaware still on top, 1-0. Not for lack of opportunities from the Stags. They've had 27 shots through this game. We're not even at the halfway point yet. 
It's Nate DeRoach who's playing a real strong game. Two on one for the Blue Hens. Kosh carries in, takes a shot. That one deflected in the air by McKenna and into the netting. And the Fairfield defensive unit has had some really good sticks tonight, really good sticks within the last couple of minutes because Delaware has had some great A opportunities. But if not for that Fairfield defense, a lot more pucks would be hitting Eric Dillner. Dillner's only faced nine shots tonight that have been credited. As we're at the left of Dillner, Del uh, face off one back to Sophia. His shot is low on the ice, deflected by Bouchard. Goes into the netting. Do the face off again from the same exact spot. Bouchard for Delaware. Marchi for Fairfield. Bouchard wins that one back and comes forward now. Bouncing pass. Skipped over the stick of Momro, so he had to circle back into his own end. He's taking a lot of pressure here from Rich. Momro looking for the breakaway pass. He connects, walking in. It's going to the backhand, but losing the handle of it was Sharfstein. DeRoach standing tall in the paint. Sharfstein sends a puck at the net, but we get a whistle as the net came off of its moorings. Really good opportunity there for the Stags. Stretching on that breakaway, Robert Sharfstein. Just lost possession, trying to make a couple extra stick handles in tight. Not really able to get much of a shot off there. Delaware maintained their lead. Trying to go forward was Marchi. But Rich slides through, chips it out of the zone. Now it's at the red line, and he dumps it into the corner. Puck comes out now, it's a two-on-one for the Stags. Moving forward, Sharfstein. Sharfstein tries to make a pass. It connects, and a glove save by DeRoach. Pushed back underneath his glove by Davis, and a whistle blows. Nine minutes, 30 seconds played in the second period. 1st want to remind you, if you enjoy the content we're producing here on the Long Island Sports Network, you can follow us on Facebook, X, and Instagram. And make sure you hit that subscribe button bottom left-hand corner of your screen. We're going to the left of DeRoach here for the face-off. Fairfield win it back. Shot goes right into the glove of DeRoach. We're gonna do this one again. Solomon in for Delaware. Malolepsy. Or Christopher Cummings in for Fairfield. Faceoff goes to the boards and now back to the point. Lee walks to the middle. No shooting lane, so he dumps it into the corner. Mandato's there to pick it up. He backhands one at the net. That comes off the skate of Crowell. Back in behind the net now. Trying to roll up. Now cutting to the middle. Couple hens on him, so unable to maintain that possession. Solomon's trying to chip it deep, but Mangia Capri plays him tight. Shedlock stretches the ice and finds Gaddy, who puts it in deep. Big hit from Solomon. Solomon looks out front, and that one jumps Gaddy's stick. A uh, shot from Desharo is saved initially. The rebound was put right back at the net by DeCaro. And as Fairfield's moving up the ice, trying to chip it in, they put it into their own bench off a couple gloves. Faceoff will be at center ice here. More than half of this game has been played. Just one goal in it, Michael Sophia. Number six seed, Delaware. In the lead over the number three seed, Fairfield Stags. Puck gets chipped in, O'Shaughnessy's given chase. Angie Capri stretches the ice. That one's deflected into the zone by McDonald and now chasing after it. Brooks lost his stick. So potential for Fairfield here. Shot on goal, that one goes over the net off the stick of Brazel. 
Lee's in the corner to pick it up. Fires one at the net, steered away by DeRoach. Down the half wall. Shot from Brazel goes into the opposite corner. Delaware looking to clear. Lee, it was off of his stick and then out of the zone. Brazel was trying to find it, inadvertently knocked it into his own net. Now a chance in front as that puck just goes underneath the stick of DePrisco as he had a great opportunity. Blake carries in now. He stops up in the corner. Trying to cycle it low. Got held up. Now with some space to work with, carrying it out to Prisco. Makes a backhand pass to O'Shaughnessy that's poked away by Lee. Sophia goes to backhand it in. Just fanned on it. And flipping in high opposite corner, William Kidd. O'Shaughnessy kicks it to his stick. Tries to send one across the ice. That one's knocked down. And now picking it up, trying to carry it to his backhand. Knocked off his stick. Knocked off the stick of William Kidd. And then a clearing attempt was put into the netting by Michael Sophia. So we get another whistle here. 8-10 left in the second period. This game with potential implications for tomorrow's semifinal. The Farmingdale Rams are the one seed and the Quinnipiac Bobcats are the two. They both booked automatic tickets to that semifinal as the top two seeds in the six team division, six team purple division of the Empire Collegiate Hockey Conference. Farmingdale will play the lowest remaining seed. Number four Fordham already advanced. If Delaware can hold on and get the victory, they'll play Farmingdale tomorrow. If Fairfield comes back and gets the win, it'll be Farmingdale taking on Fordham with Fairfield playing Quinnipiac. A Delaware min win means Delaware Farmingdale and Fordham Quinnipiac. As Delaware win that faceoff, it's Griffin O'Shaughnessy carrying up, and he's got a one-on-one -on -one chance now. Carries in wide on the right wing side. Takes a shot short side that goes off the post and into the netting. Good chance there from Griffin O'Shaughnessy as the Blue Hens have found a way to continue to put some pressure on the Stags here in this second period. They've been fairly dominant here. And continue to hold the lead. Faceoff gets one back by Malolepsi. Clearing attempt does go out of the zone. Now Brendan Cullen's gonna chase after it. Picks it up, he's on the hash marks. Tries to make a seam pass, goes into the skates of Kosh. Kosh couldn't clear though. Cullen back to pick it up. He toe drags. Looking through the seam again. Opposite point for Kid. Kid shot. Deflects wide. Another shot comes through from the point. That hit a body in front, ends up in the corner now up at the point. And eventually gets chipped out. Chasing after it. It's going to be a foot race. No icing on the play. Leary plays it on the backhand up, trying to stretch and find Marchi for a breakaway. Couldn't do it, though. Now at the far blue line, getting the pass and taking the shot on goal, generating the rebound. Good shot from Burke. Another one thrown at the net to Roach. Pushes it out and putting it right back underneath him was Gavin Johns, who wanted the whistle to allow his side to get the full change. So that's what DeRoach does, covers it up. We have exactly seven minutes left to play here in the second period. Second play-in game for this Purple Division. Fairfield wins the faceoff, but coming through hard was Rich poking it away. Shot comes through from the opposite point. Generated a rebound, but no second chance there. Delaware looking to carry out now. It's Alex Bouchard. Bouchard chips it in. Rich gonna go, uh, Rich gonna go chase. He's first on the puck. Mandato, uh, Mandato plays it out. Sorry, not Mandato. Marchi plays it out. And Marchi circles now and carries it out of his own end. Passes it over for Momro. Momro enters the zone, dumps it into the corner. Fighting on the half boards now in the corner with it one more time. Marchi. Pass goes up top to the point for McKenna, but just skips underneath his stick and comes out of the zone. Dumped right back in by Matthews. Cummings gives chase. Spinning away Connor Brooks, trying to take it behind his own net. Moves it up the same side boards, finds Rich. 
Rich trying to make a pass across the ice for Polito, but that was knocked down. Clearing attempt gets intercepted by Bouchard. Bouchard here for Rich. Rich's shot gets poked away. Nice back check by Cummings. Rich has it one more time. Passes it behind the net for Gaddy. Gaddy's pass to the point was knocked away by Mandato, and he's hustling down as the first four checker to get there. DeRoach forced to come out and play it. Mandato gets it back, pass to the middle. One-timer, and that's saved by DeRoach. Rebound in the slot, still loose, and now it's Delaware carrying out. Gaddy comes in wide, tucks the shoulder. Big save made by Dillner. Cycled low by Gaddy. In the corner with it, Solomon. Solomon goes up to the point for Sophia. Sophia's shot gets through, rebound. Spinning shot there from Davis won't go. One more time with Solomon. Solomon spins off. Trying to get away from Cummings. Goes into the far corner. Backhanded back in by Johns. Pass out front is sticked away. One more time out front, and that one is going to be cleared out of the zone by Zach Lee. Delaware going D to D. Sophia has the puck. Chips it off the boards for Solomon. Solomon carries in wide. Loses it in his feet. Regains it. Goes up to the point, but Mandato's there to intercept. He carries it out of the zone now. Sophia loses his footing. It's a two-on-one. Mandato on the right wing side takes a shot, and that one goes wide. Chipped out of the zone. Two-on-one brewing. Solomon with the puck. He has O'Shaughnessy. Toe drag. Nice poke by Lee. Still loose and backhanded in front by Solomon, but nobody there. Blake picks it up, chips it off the boards. At the far blue line was Brazel. He couldn't get there. Comes back the other way. Missed the stick of O'Shaughnessy. Manja Capri uh, sends it off his own boards behind the net. And that one goes 200 feet the length of the ice for an icing. It was William Kidd who flipped that one out. Going to the left of Eric Dillner here. Still 1-0. Michael Sophia, the only goal in this one. 4.05 left in the period. Shot from the point is kicked away by Dillner. And then chipped out of the zone by Manja Capri. Shedlock goes D to D and now stretching the ice, tipping it into the zone. Ethan Abramovich goes behind Dillner. Kid picks it up, uses the boards. McDonald gets it out. He was trying to find Brazel stretching the ice. Brazel's going to beat out the icing. Good hustle by him. Shedlock plays the body. Puck's loose. Intercepted there by Blake. Blake cycles it in low. Pass out front. Goes off the post and covered up by DeRoach. Three thirty-one left in the second period. Face-off goes back for Delaware. Brooks going D to D, and Brooks gets it right back there. But Fairfield applying some pressure on the forecheck here, getting possession of this puck back. Pass goes up to Kidd, but it was in his feet. Skipped past him, goes down the ice. Dillner forced to come out and play it. Uses the backhand to put it behind his own net, but O'Shaughnessy hard on the forecheck gets it back. Pass back door. Saved by Dillner. Now at the point. Dicario. He walks in. Takes a shot. Rebound. Kicks out. Fairfield going the other way. Malalepsi makes a pass across the ice for Cullen. Just out of his reach. He wraps it around the board. Sent right back in. Delaware's there to intercept. Fired off the boards. O'Shaughnessy's chasing after it, but beating him there, William Kidd. That's going to be an icing. That was Abramovich who was just trying to get that puck out on the half wall. Trying to find O'Shaughnessy stretching there. Missed his tape, went down the ice, icing. Face off to the right of DeRoach. Tyler Marchi in there for Fairfield. Unsuccessful in his bid to win it. That was won by DePrisco. Comes around the boards now. Brooks is in a battle. Momro has it. He walks out the near side, pass to the front, and that's a goal! What a shot from Tyler Marchi, and this game is tied. Good goal at the perfect time for the Stags, as Marchi took that pass in the slot from Momro. 
Came back in the direction that Momro was in and fired at the opposite side of the net. Tough save for DeRoach to make. And it's tied up 1-1. And that's what you need if you're the Stags with 2.28 left in this second period. As Delaware has applied a lot of pressure here. I've had a lot of chances to extend their lead. Good goaltending from Dillner as that puck gets sent down the ice. Unsuccessful pass from Matthews. Goes for an icing. But Delaware has had a really good period. They've tripled their shots from the first period. Just haven't been able to beat Dillner here. It's Marchie who ties the game up. Dewey gets a shot from the half wall after the faceoff got one back. Just not very cleanly. But ended up right in the glove of Dillner. Face off from the same spot. Marchie and Viola. Puck's bouncing and it comes out of the zone. Sharfstein with it. He tucks the shoulder wide, takes a hit. Good defensive play there from Gavin Johns. Sharfstein still has the puck though. Pass to the middle, didn't go. Dewey racing to the half wall. He chips it out successfully. One on one opportunity here. Kyle Kosh in wide, loses his footing. And couldn't get anything going there. Momroy has it and elects to circle back into his own end to get some speed. Moves up the right side of the ice now. Trying to cut to the middle on a one-on-one -on -one move, just loses the handle. DeRoach elects to play it out through the middle. Luckily, no Fairfield Stags there to intercept that one. Stays in his zone, in the feet, and the clearing attempt goes through the center of the ice, kept in there by Mangia Capri. Shot on goal off the blocker, and we get a whistle as the net came off following the battle in front of the net between Shedlock and Cummings. Marchie's goal was assisted by Robert Scharfstein. First goal of the playoffs for Marchie. First assist for Scharfstein. 1 1 the score in this play in game. Face off goes to the half boards at the hash marks. Delaware looking to clear. Connor Brooks moved it to Rich, but came right back into his end. Dicario picks it up. But Fairfield with a lot of jump following that goal as they've been really able to put the pressure on, making it difficult for Delaware to leave the zone as the shot came through, got deflected, and almost found a way in. Delaware get it out now. Bichard loses his footing. Rich there to pick up the puck. He goes down, and Lee comes to pick it up for Fairfield, carrying up the ice. It's a three-on-three -three opportunity. Lee enters the Delaware zone, takes a low shot, rebound goes to the boards. Unsuccessful clear before a successful one for Delaware. Now back to the far side, Lee's shot goes off a stick, ends up behind the net, pass out in front, doesn't find anybody until it gets to the point. It's in the corner now. Brooks has no stick and he's playing a very hard defensive game right now. On the half wall, just a little backhand soft chip out of the zone. And that's going to do it for period number two. 1-1 one, one the score here. Just one goal scored in that period. It was from Fairfield, and it came late. It was Tyler Marchi. There was just 2.28 left on the clock. He scored on the assist from Robert Scharfstein. Michael Sophia opened up the scoring in this one back in the first period for Delaware. Minimal scoring in this one. Figured it would be a tight game. Playoffs. But we're getting set for period number three. Winner of this one moves on to tomorrow's semifinal matchup. Still have to see what happens here to know what the matchups will be. But second intermission here on the Long Island Sports Network. We're going to be back in about 15, 20 minutes with the third period of play between Fairfield and Delaware.
Back for period number three on the Long Island Sports Network. Playing game number two, Delaware taking on Fairfield. And we are underway. Puck comes back with Delaware. And just want to apologize to our viewers at home. We're just having a quick te technical difficulty here as Fairfield enters his own down the left side. Puck in front of the net of DeRoach. Back into the left corner. Seam pass through, doesn't go. Kept in the zone at the blue line by Fairfield. Now in the corner. Delaware looking to clear at the high slot with it. Now at the half wall. Shot comes through from... That was Cullen. Ended up being a rebound. Now goes off the bench. Off the Delaware bench. So we're going to get a face off that stays inside the Delaware zone. 1-1 one, one, the score. Face-off going to the right. One by Fairfield. Walking in with the shot. That one goes over the net. Lee pulling the trigger there. Cycled low one more time. Swooping in to pick it up, Brendan Burke. Burke makes a move on the half wall. Passes it up to the point. Going D to D. Lee with it now. Lee sends a shot through and he scores! Shot from the point from Zach Lee. And it's a 2-1 game. Lee took a low shot from the point. Couple bodies in front of DeRoach. And the Stags now up 2-1. Lee with the goal, Brendan Cullen and Chris Mangiacapri getting the assists. And after being down 1-0 for a majority of this game, Fairfield score to tie it up late in the second and now early in the first. They make it 2-1. And here they come once more, carrying up the ice. Shedlock's back for Delaware. He's going to get there, pokes it off the stick of Marchi. And now Delaware moves forward. Stretch pass across the ice and now dumped in by DePrisco. It's in the opposite corner now. Send back down low. DePrisco there to grab it. Puts one towards the front of the net. Couldn't find a stick. Kept in though by Johns. Pucks in behind the net. Jeffrey Matthews looking to break it out. Spinning pass goes and finds Momro, but it went off the back of his stick. Delaware with an opportunity cutting in. Through the middle, shot on goal, and he scores! What a snipe that was from Ethan Abramovich! And this game is tied back up at 2-2. Two two. Ethan Abramovich cutting into the zone on the left side of the sheet. Moved over to the middle and able to beat Dillner high upstairs over his blocker. Delaware still working now. Another shot comes through from Davis that got deflected up in the air. It's in the corner. Solomon moves it over to the far side. Puck out to the middle. Now up top for John. John takes a big slap shot. That's covered up by Dillner. <laughs> Face off to Dillner's right. Solomon in there, he wins it back. Now up at the point with Sophia. Sophia's shot goes off of Dillner's glove. Picking up that rebound with Solomon. Back up to Sophia, Sophia for Solomon. Solomon cycles it in down low. Picking it up, Wade Davis. Davis up to the point for Johns. Johns for Sophia. Sophia through the seam, doesn't find it. Still loose in front, now at the point with Johns. Johns cycles it down low. 
It goes in behind the net and out to the right corner, picking it up and carrying it out of the zone, William Kidd. Pass through the middle, finds Brasley, cuts in, his shot gets blocked. Slap shot from the point, goes through, big save from DeRoach. Now at the point, one more time, shot gets blocked again from Blake. Blake shot one more time, blocked in front by Sophia. That's three shots in a row, blocked. Now a pass through the middle, gets out of the zone on the tape away, Davis. He cuts in on the right wing side, his shot gets blocked and goes up into the netting off of the body of William Leary. Faceoff gets one back by Fairfield. Now they're trying to break it out. And still held in, eventually comes out of the zone. Alex Bouchard curling with it, drops it off, and now a backhand in by DeCario. DeCaro intercepted, entering the zone. Shot comes through, but eventually the whistle gets blown. Offsides the call here. Face off in front of the Blue Hens bench. Score is two to two. As we saw two goals in this period in the first two minutes. Zach Lee 55 seconds in and then just a minute later Ethan Abramovich tied it right back up. Face off is won by the Stags and backhanded into the zone by Ronan Curry. Shedlock picks it up. Initial clearing attempt doesn't go. The secondary one does. And that's going to be an icing. Delaware wins a face-off, and that one goes all the way down off the boards, and it's going to be another icing. Going to do this one again to the right of Nate DeRoach. To the left of Nate DeRoach, excuse me. Face-off won by the Stags. Back to Zach Lee. Goes in behind the net now. Malazepsi tries to make a move with it. Gets it right back at the top of the circle. Turning shot, and that one's turned away by DeRoach. Back in behind the net of the Blue Hens. And it's Shedlock now skating it up the ice. Passes it forward for Luke Rich. Luke Rich enters the zone. His shot gets blocked. And a penalty coming up here. It's going against the Fairfield captain, Ned Malalepsi. It's going to be a two-minute minor. We'll see what the call is here. And it's two minutes for interference. Big opportunity coming up right now for the Delaware University Blue Hens. Delaware setting up, shot goes through. That one goes just wide. And a battle on the half wall now. Three hens, two stags in there. What a diving play to keep it in by Sophia. And it's intercepted at the blue line, carrying up the ice, potential breakaway coming. Three Blue Hens back checking hard, slowing up Andrew Thornton, but he gets it back, pass out in front, doesn't go, and a diving Sophia knocks it away from Tyler Marchi. Great chance there for Fairfield on the penalty kill. Gaddy picks it up, cycles it in low for O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy with a pass to the middle, doesn't find tape, bouncing puck goes to Sophia. He gets stick lifted though, and Marchi sends it 200. The Roach out to play it. Reverse play there from Abramovich. O'Shaughnessy drops it off for Brooks. Brooks is being pressured really, really hard there by Sharfstein. 
able to get it out now through the feet of Gaddy. O'Shaughnessy with speed, though, comes in to pick it up on the right wing side. Carries in behind the net. Up top. Shot goes through. That one's blocked in front of the net and covered up by... Pardon me. Covered up there by Eric Dillner. Going to the right of Dillner here. Face off tied up and then goes back to the point. Kyle Kosh walks to the middle now, taking his time. Over to the left flank, shot goes through from Brooks. Blocked, he's trying to put it in the corner. Does successfully. Back up top now with Kosh. Kosh to the middle once more, takes a shot. That gets through, rebound in front. Secondary opportunity from Kosh, got deflected, came across, and ends up in the corner. Trying to roll off the half wall here is John Dewey. In Dewey's feet now up at the blue line. That's gonna do it for the power play. We're back to even strength, and Fairfield rushing up the ice. Sent into the zone by Malazepsi as he vacates the box. And we go back to even strength. Battle behind the net, Malazepsi's fighting for it with Kosh walking out now. Pass up to the point. Manjakar Capri goes over for Lee. Lee shot gets through, save. Rebound is put into the corner. Kosh on the backhand, gets it to his forehand, chips it up. Dewey knocked it out of the air, but Lee kept it in. Lee walks in, shoots, save, rebound, scores! It's a 3-2 lead for the Fairfield Stags. Great play by Lee, keeping that puck in. Takes a shot that forces a rebound and crashing the net. Captain Ned Malazet Malalepsi. And he gives his side the lead, three to two. With just 12.53 to go here in the third and final frame of regulation play. Officials are having a conversation. I believe there was a penalty that was called after the goal was scored. It's Nick Viola going to the box for Delaware after giving up that goal and a big chance here for the Stags as they get the lead and now go up on the power play with a chance to pad that lead, double it to make it 4-2. It's a 3-2 game right now. Malalepsi with the goal on the rebound. Shot came in from Zach Lee who kept it in on the blue line, had a couple feet to walk in. And Fairfield win the faceoff here to start their power play. Fairfield having a tough time breaking it out here. And still looking to break this thing out. Carrying it forward now, Tyler Marchi. Marchi drops it off for Blake. Blake takes it in, passes it behind the net for Marchi. Marchi moves it forward for Momro. Momro up top. William Kidd fakes a slap shot back for Momro on the flank. Momro across for McKenna. McKenna up top. Kidd walks in, sauces one over for Momro. Momro's looking through the seam, doesn't like what he sees, so he rolls up top for it. Takes it onto the right flank now. Takes the shot and a big save there by DeRoach. Exactly one minute left on the Fairfield power play. 11.52 to go here in the third period. Faceoff is won back by Fairfield but jumps over Lee's stick and out of the zone. Lee back with it now, regrouping. Sends a backhand across for Burke. Burke cuts in. Dishes it off for Malalepsi up top. Fake slap shot. Walking in and taking it was Brendan Cullen. Rebound steered into the corner. Malalepsi rolls up now. 
Captain takes a shot. That goes into the glove of Nate DeRoach. Thirty-four seconds left. Face off to D. Roach's left. One to the middle. Shot from Cullen. Right into the glove of D. Roach. We'll do that one all again from the same spot. Dewey and Malalepsi. Malalepsi with the win. Lee has it and walks to the middle. Takes a slap shot. That one is gloved by D. Roach. 22 seconds until Nick Viola comes out of the box. Dewey tries to tie up Malalepsi. Puck comes back. Colin with it now on the left flank up top for Lee. Jumps over his stick. And that could do it for the rest of the power play. Just 10 seconds to go. Lee sends it over for Colin. Cullen rolls back into his own zone. Five seconds on the power play. And we move back into even strength as Cullen enters the Blue Hen zone. Down the left wing side. Cuts behind the net. Off the boards for Lee. Lee's shot comes through. That gets deflected and they score! Right after the power play ends, it's Brendan Burke on the deflection. And he makes it 4-2. to two. Great zone entry there from Brendan Cullen. Gets some space for himself behind the net. Dishes it over to Lee off the boards. Lee with a little half clapper. And it gets deflected in front. Might have been a double deflection. Might have hit Malalepsi's stick. And then came off of Burke. Burke with the celebration, the big celebration. Taking credit for that one. He makes it 4-2 to two in favor of the number three seed Stags. Puck is one Faceoff is won by the Blue Hens, sent in by Sophia, but it's Fairfield coming back the other way. Daddy lost it off his stick, and now it's a two-on-one rush. Dished over. On the backhand, back over, and a big save by DeRoach. Absolutely robbing McDonald, who couldn't lift that puck up. McDonald and Brazel with a big opportunity there. But DeRoach read it and played that two-on-one perfectly. Net came off the moorings. That's where the whistle came from. So it's a face-off to the left here of Nate DeRoach. Zach Solomon taking on Aiden Blake, and Aiden Blake wins it back pretty cleanly, but splits his defense, so... Will Kidd forced to skate back and pick it up. Uses his net, goes behind. Unable to get it out though was McDonald. Comes in behind the net, trying to make a spinning pass out front was Wade Davis, it was intercepted. Fairfield carry out now with Brazel. Brazel dumps it in on the backhand. DiCario, DiCario moves it over. Intercepted at the blue line and kept alive there by McDonald. McDonald on the boards. Over for Brazel. Brazel steps into the shot, blockered away by DeRoach. Kept in the zone by Leary. Solomon picks it up for Delaware. He's in a battle with Leary in the corner before Leary wraps it around to the open space on the far side. Comes out of the zone with Brooks, and now Kidd is regrouping here. Sends a pass forward, comes off the boards through McDonald's feet as he took some contact. And now breaking this puck back out is Dicario moves it for Davis. Davis gets it poked off his stick. Two on two going the other way for Fairfield. Luca Mandato takes a shot. And that one is gloved once more by Nate DeRoach. 9-10 left in regulation. Fairfield's up 4-2. They've scored three goals in this period to help take the lead. Face-off is won once again by Fairfield. Been really dominant in the face-off circle tonight as DeRoach covers that one once more. Another face-off in the left circle. 
Cycled in down low by Cummings. Backhanded forward by Johns. But a pinching McKenna keeps it alive. D to D, Sophia has it now. He goes for the high flip out of the zone. That one bounces over McKenna. But he's going to be first to touch that one up. Rims it around. Chipped out of the boards by Fairfield and Luca Mendato. He goes for a change. John sends it back up. Same side. And Fairfield defender Jeffrey Matthews picks it up. Goes D to D with Chase McKenna. McKenna's pass couldn't connect. And Rich is able to chip it in deep. Bichard gives chase as he's the first four checker. Back on the stick of Matthews. He goes cross ice. Now through the middle. Couldn't find the tape there. Looking for Cummings. Matthews one more time has it behind the net. He takes a hit. Gets the puck back with the, on the backhand. Now up at the point. But hustling to poke that one out of the zone with Sharfstein. Three on two for the Stags. Falling but maintaining possession of the puck. Pass out front and they score! What a play by the Fairfield Stags. What a goal to make it 5-2. to two. And that was an unbelievable individual effort by Tyler March. You see it on the replay. He went down, maintained possession of the puck, and made a nice crisp pass out front. Putting that one in the back of the cage was number 17, Ronan Curry. And it's a 5-2 lead now for the three seed. Fairfield Stags taking on number six, Delaware here. And Fairfield starting to run away with this one. Faceoff is one back. Four goals in this period for Fairfield to Delaware's one. It was a quiet game through the first two. Walking in with a lot of speed, nice move, and a diving save by DeRoach stacking the pads. That was beautiful from Nate DeRoach. Great play from Robert Sharfstein to break in. Nifty little one-on-one -on -one move to cut to the middle. Got himself a little breakaway, but DeRoach with the creative save, stacking up the pads. Keeps the score five to two. Sophia comes forward on the faceoff to try to help Delaware get this puck out. It does come out. Battle at the blue line now. Moves back and the puck is in front of the Fairfield bench. Momro goes to pick it up. Skates to the near side of the sheet. Stopping up, Marchi dishes one forward for Sharfstein, who chips it in. He tucks his shoulder, takes it behind the net. Pass out front, gets deflected by Johns. And Sophia's there, wraps it around the boards. Kosh with the high flip out. That one gets knocked down by Viola, but Fairfield gets possession right back. And it's Zach Lee, who's got a couple points tonight, who dumps it into the far corner. Shedlock there to get it. Johns has it, goes north up the ice, finds Dewey. Dewey goes back for Johns, and Johns moves it right up. The touch pass, though, from Viola gets intercepted. Shedlock with it once more. He goes and finds Viola, who drops it right back to him. Out of his reach a little bit, so he's going to skate backwards to go pick it up. Little D-to-D -D pass behind his own net. And stretching the ice, almost getting that pass at the far side blue line was DePrisco. But Fairfield playing really stingy right now, making it real difficult for Delaware just to break the puck out. A very hard four check and a tight neutral zone, making life difficult for the Blue Hens. As O'Shaughnessy has it, his backhand pass is intercepted in the neutral zone by Cullen, who circles back and fires a high backhand over for Zach Lee. Lee goes D to D with Manja Capri. His pass was in the feet of Cullen, but dumped into the zone there by Burke. Cullen's in for checking hard. It's the puck on the half wall. Now in the corner, going with Burke. Burke takes it behind the net. Rolling puck pass out front, and an almost a good opportunity there for Malalepsi. It's in the feet, looking for it there. Crowell. Crowell wraps it around to the far side, and O'Shaughnessy has some space to pick it up and skate. A little self chip, and he's going to go get it. Tries to pass it out front. Comes off of the stick of Sharfstein and comes all the way out of the zone for an icing off the clearing attempt from Brendan Burke. Five twenty-three left in the game. Fairfield leading 5-2. Fairfield 59 shots on goal in this one to Delaware's 25. 
Puck goes back. Shot from the point gets blocked. It's up in the air. Rebound attempt. Another rebound attempt, and that one gets saved by Dillner. O'Shaughnessy moves it up top. Brooks walks in. That one gets through. O'Shaughnessy on the rebound saved. Another save by Dillner. Dillner makes a couple stops on some rebounds there. Keeps this a three-goal game. Five oh nine to go here in the third period. All the other games have come been finished here. The earlier games, I should say. There's one more game going on simultaneously upstairs between Hofstra and Sacred Heart. Puck still loose in the middle there. Arm up. We got a penalty coming up. Looks like it's going against Delaware as Fairfield carries up on a two-on-two -two rush. Blake going in wide. Takes it behind the net on his forehand. Pass comes out through the slot. Picked up at the blue line by Mallard Lepsey. His shot gets blocked, and it's touched by Connor Brooks. So we get a whistle, and it's a slashing penalty that's going against Griffin O'Shaughnessy. And just to give you a live update, if you're tuning in with us, not sure what's going on, you want to know what's going on upstairs. It's Hofstra down 2-1 right now to Sacred Heart. They're in the third period of that one. That's the fourth quarterfinal game from the Black Division in the Empire Collegiate Hockey Conference. This a Purple Division game, the second play-in game. Fordham already booked their ticket to tomorrow. Fairfield with the face-off win. They're on the power play here, setting up. Lee up top, moves it to the right flank for Manja Capri. He tries to move it back down low. Sophia was there to intercept, but now it's back up at the point. Goes into the left flank for Colin. Colin's shot goes off a leg in front and into the netting. Just a reminder, Farmingdale and Quinnipiac, top two seeds, already booked their ticket into the semifinal. Fordham joined them with a 6-0 win earlier. Winner of this one is the final team to advance to the semis here in ECHC hockey. Lee gets the puck on the right side, takes the shot, deflected in front, saved by DeRoach, rebound, and it's underneath them. Covers that one up. Good deflection in front there by Malalepsi. Dewey and Malalepsi. Malalepsi wins it back to Lee. Lee's going to roll to the middle. Steps in, takes a shot. Not sure DeRoach saw that one and went wide. And Dewey sends it the full length of the sheet. Going to allow the Blue Hens defense to make a change here. Minute 10 left on the power play. 3.55 to go here in regulation. That's how much time's left as Fairfield's looking to advance to tomorrow, close this game out. Benja Capri carries it in, drops that one off for Burke. Burke moves it up top for Lee. Lee's gonna walk to the middle one more time, kicks it back to the right flank. Walking to the middle, thought about shooting, then drops it off for Cullen. Cullen back to the flank for Burke. Burke tries to go back door, nobody home. And a whistle as we get a penalty. Action going on in front of the net. Malalepsi gets called for it. So that's going to do it for the Fairfield power play. Cross-checking the call. It'll be four on four hockey for the next 35 seconds. And then Delaware will move to the power play for a minute and 25. And definitely still enough time here for Delaware to come back. But they definitely need goals fast. As we're coming down to the wire, Fairfield trying to hold on here. Puck is kept in the zone and then dumped in by Crowell. Going down to chase and keep it in was Abramovich. Abramovich almost got it in the front there. But Fairfield's coming out on a three on two. One handed away. And now it's on the stick 
of Kidd. Kidd backhand pass to the front. Save. Rebound. Saved once more. And a clearing attempt gets sent down. Icing waved off. Just five seconds left. Four. And now Delaware on to the power play for the next 125. Fairfield down shorthanded. They're trying to rush the puck out. It's picked off. Now a chance for, for Del... Uh, excuse me. Chance for Delaware here. Got a little tongue twisted. Puck's in the slot. Going to the backhand. Trying to pass it back door, but Dillner comes out to poke it away. DePrisco was trying to cycle it low, but couldn't handle the pressure from Sharfstein. Sophia with a nice outlet pass, though, to find O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy shot low, generates a rebound. Puck's still loose, and it's underneath a Dillner, and we get a whistle. 2.15 to go in the third period if you're joining us late. It was 1-0 Delaware after the first. Michael Sophia opened the scoring. We only had one goal in the second. Tyler Marchi late tied it up. And a lot of scoring here in the third. Zach Lee, 55 seconds in. Abramovich tied it right after. And then it's been all Fairfield since on the scoreboard with three straight goals. Puck comes out of the zone now. Just 45 seconds left on the Blue Hens power play. Abramovich carries, moves it forward. Puck was behind O'Shaughnessy, though, so Delaware forced to regroup. Sophia has it on his own blue line, sends a cross-ice pass for O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy walks in down the left flank. His shot gets blocked. Moves it up to the point for Gaddy. Gaddy goes D to D. Sophia takes a low shot. That one generates a rebound. Another save there from Dillner. Clearing attempt won't go. Puck's up in the air now. O'Shaughnessy leaps for it, gloves it down. Gets the shot off, came off of the stick, and goes into the corner. Pass out front from Abramovich was blocked. He makes a one-on-one -on -one move, and he gets taken down, and it's going to be another penalty going against Fairfield. A minute 25 left in the game. There's just two seconds left on the penalty that went against Ned Malalepsi. And now it's... Luca Mandato, who's going to the box for a tripping penalty and a timeout being called here by the Delaware Blue Hens as they're going to try to draw something up as they need three goals in this last minute 25 here to keep their ECHC playoffs alive. So we can run you through the goals again while we take a break during this timeout. It was Michael Sophia who opened things up in the first period. A little three-on-two rush, took a backhand shot that beat Dillner five-hole. To In the second period, just the one goal, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, Tyler Marchi tied it up with 2.28 left on the clock. And then 55 seconds into this third period, it was Zach Lee who gave Fairfield the lead, but a minute later, Ethan Abramovich tied it back up. And it was that way for about five or so minutes, five and change, before Ned Malalepsi buried a rebound in front of the net. Brendan Burke followed that up with a deflection goal, and then Ronan Curry, just three minutes later, extended the lead to five to two in favor of the Stags. Faceoffs won by Delaware, going D to D. Shot comes through. That one goes just wide. Net is empty for Delaware. Puck goes all the way down. Good clear there from the Stags. It's behind the net. Sophia's there to pick it up. Minute 10 left in the game. Delaware's going six on four here on the power play and with the net empty. O'Shaughnessy carries in. Slide through pass. Goes underneath the stick of Gaddy. Pass to the middle doesn't go. Rolling puck gets cleared out. It might have enough juice, it might not, but racing to get there and getting there first, putting it into the empty net and icing this game, Aiden Brazel. Six to two the score. It was a good clearing attempt. Brazel using his speed to beat Connor Brooks to the puck and puts it into the empty net as we're getting a little extra chatter from some, looks like some really big Stags fans. We're leaving the building now. We'll do a face-off back at center ice with 45.6 to go here in this one. 
Fairfield goes forward, still on the penalty kill here. They will be for the remainder of this game. Delaware still looking to get some offense going. Kyle Kosh with the puck. Takes a backhand and puts it into the corner. It wraps around the boards. Fairfield looking to clear. Comes out of the zone. Just 22 seconds remaining. Kosh with the puck once more. Goes D to D. And now we get a whistle behind the play. And looks like Jack Polito being shown the exit door. So Polito going out. He's hitting the locker room a little bit early. And Chris Mangia Capri going to the box for Fairfield. Just 19.2 left in this one. Fairfield is going to advance to the semifinals. And that's going to shape up our semifinal matchups for the Purple Division tomorrow. So at 6 o'clock, it's going to be the one seed, Farmingdale State Rams taking on the number four seed, Fordham Rams. And then following that game, it'll be Fairfield taking on Quinnipiac. Dewey picks up the puck after the faceoff win from Delaware. He dumps it into the zone. Just 10 seconds left. First to touch was Solomon. Battle in the corner. Moves it for Dewey. Dewey out front. And clearing it out of the zone, Jeffrey Matthews, three and two and one. That's going to do it. Fairfield University Stags pick up the win, six to two. They're moving on tomorrow to the semifinal. They're going to take on Quinnipiac in a little battle of Connecticut at 8.30 tomorrow night. That's going to be the second semifinal. As I just said, Farmingdale will take on Fordham. That's your Purple Division, ECHC. Semi-final matchups. The championship game will be, of course, Sunday afternoon. Congrats to Fairfield moving on here. I want to thank you for joining us on the Long Island Sports Network on behalf of the entire crew behind the scenes. My name's Travis Quigley, and we will see you here tomorrow for some semi-final hockey.